can't believe I did that though. Honest mistake happens to the best of us. But like I said, this is why reading is fundamental. <laughs> What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me again. If you're new here, then my name is Mariah and for the last 15 months, my husband and I have been on a journey to conceive rainbow baby number one. As always, thanks tribe for coming back. I'm so glad you guys continue to show the love and the support along this process. So today's video is actually sponsored by Styx. Six actually reached out to me. They have pregnancy tests and they asked if I wanted to try some out for review just to share what my experience is like with them. So that's what tests I'll be using today. I know, right? It's not very often that I put the Pregnates aside for another brand. So I'm pretty excited. They are also more sensitive than the Pregmates. So they are 20 MIU and the Pregmates are 25. So they're slightly more sensitive, which means of course, of course, with early testing, the better chance of me potentially seeing an earlier positive. It's cycle day 26, I'm approximately 11 DPO, and AF is expected to show in three days. So I got a little bit of time left to still see a positive in cycle 12. So this is what the packaging looks like. This is how it comes. Plain white box. Absolutely nothing on it, no logo or anything like that. Then when you go to open it up, it has a little package on the inside. So the packaging is very discreet. If you have like no nosy neighbors or you just don't want someone in your business or if you're like me and don't necessarily want your husband to, to know that you're taking pregnancy tests or anything like that, their packaging definitely does its job with it being very, very, like I said, discreet. Okay, so I'm gonna open this up. I hate tearing stuff like this because it's so nice, such nice paper, but, oh. Oh my gosh, this is like, really? I was expecting literally just two pregnancy tests. I'm gonna show you guys everything that they sent me. This is so cool. Okay, so they sent me two cozy chamomile teas. Oh, it's a rose petal bath bomb. How cute is that? And they also sent me a coloring book with some crayons. Can't remember really the last time I used crayons, but that's really cute. Like I said, I really just did not expect to get this much, like a little small care package with getting the pregnancy tests as well. This is really, really cute and really awesome. So thank you so much to Six for sending this little package to me. I think the presentation is just frankly lovey. There's a lot of thought behind it. You know, these tests are actually made by women who want other women to have a better experience when it comes to purchasing pregnancy tests. They already know that TTCN can be like a process in itself. So I think it's really cool the way they went ahead and put this together. They're definitely going a step above other pregnancy test companies. Okay, so the actual test, it says, take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. <sighs> yeah, we all know we sometimes deep breathe. Everyone needs a good deep breath from time to time. And they wrote me this cute little note. It says, hey, the Dex, we believe every woman deserves a better pregnancy test experience. We packed up some of our self care, our fave self care goodies, along with a coloring book to keep your hand and mind busy while you wait for those results. Really, really sweet of them. Thanks again, guys. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get to testing. Just so you guys know, they do not market themselves as an early testing, like any other pregnancy test brand or anything like that. It says that you can take it as early as the first day of your missed period, just like most tests recommend, but we all know I'm an early tester, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take it now. And this is what the test looks like. It's very small, which is kind of surprising, but that's good though less packaging for, you know, what's really inside, which is a little paper strip anyway. So I do have my first morning urine here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dip it. One, two, three, eight, nine, and 10. All right, and I'm gonna put the cap on and cover it up. Here comes Jeremy. And then I will wait the five minutes. <laughs> 
reading is fundamental, guys. My eyes hone straight into the results portion to say that you wait for five minutes and don't read the results after 10 minutes. I kind of skipped over the whole how to test part though. <laughs> This actually says that you're going to sit on the toilet and pinch the thumb grip and place the strip underneath your urine stream for 10 seconds. So I don't really know if that'll really play any, you know, role in affecting the results or not. I figured if I'm pregnant, then I, it's obviously gonna show at some point. So I'll definitely know. But yeah, guys, this is why reading is fundamental. So don't do what I did. Definitely, if you're going to use the sticks test, definitely just go ahead and pee directly on it and don't do it because even though all pregnancy tests generally work the same, I don't know, they might have something different in the way they manufacture this one that it's only meant to be peed directly on. Or it might be like some other brands where if you're peeing directly on it, you do it for 10 seconds, but if you're dipping it, you do it for 15 or 20 seconds. So I don't know. So we're just going to see. <laughs> I can't believe I did that though. Honest mistake happens to the best of us. But like I said, this is why reading is fundamental. So yeah, we'll wait five minutes and then I will come back and show you guys my results. Okay guys, so the time is up. So I'm going to let you guys look at it first. I can barely talk today. All right. I'm pretty sure this is the way I had it in here in the packaging. Yep, did it right. All right. Maybe there's something on it. We shall see. Now I'm gonna go ahead and look at it. And definitely negative yeah there's nothing on it I'm still early so I mean that sort of comes with the territory they have to kind of expect it to be negative if you're testing early but yeah it's definitely negative once again this window is a little bit deep yeah it's a little bit deep but what i can say about this that differs from the other test windows that are a little bit deep is that this is not making me think that i see a line or anything like that there's really like no question about whether or not there's a line there and i guess really it doesn't shadow as bad as the other tests seem to oh that's cute i just noticed that so where the test line could potentially pop up there's actually a heart there which is like a really small and cute little detail but yeah guys that is a negative for 11 dpo so I'm gonna come back tomorrow and test again. I think though I'm gonna save my other sticks tests for later on in my cycle, just as we get a little bit closer to expected AF showing and hopefully she doesn't. But yeah, I think I might save the other one for maybe around 13-ish dpo or you know if i get to 14 or 13 or 14 one of those i'll save it for one of those or i might even save one more for next cycle i don't really know yet but i will be back tomorrow so that we can test together again okay guys we are back and it's a good thing i just looked because i just started talking and realized i wasn't even recording so we're back it's cycle day 27 i'm at 12 dpo and i have been having a few i guess symptoms per se. The main one is the fact that I'm getting those heavy uterus kind of feelings, not cramping or anything like that, but it definitely feels like I'm a couple days out from AF and it is predicted to show in the next two days. So we shall just have to wait and see. I have also been having on and off headaches for the last few days and that may have more to do with how much I am working more than anything else. The only weird thing I have going on is the fact that I am sweating a lot. While I do have hyperhidrosis, it's not that kind of sweating. I mean, I'm like profusely sweating and I haven't really had that happen in a while. So I don't really know. It could mean totally nothing, but we're just going to test today and see. I'm thinking today that we might be able to see something on the test. So here's the fresh test. She 
you guys can see, one, two, three, and I will lay it flat, oops, I'll lay it flat and cover it up and wait the five minutes. Okay guys, the five minutes is up, so uh, let's see what we have. I, of course, will be showing you guys first, and then I'll look at it. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and look at it. I'm gonna take a wild guess before I do, and I'm just gonna guess that it is still negative, but I'm kind of really hoping that it's not. All right. And why are there so many dots on this test? Yeah, it's definitely negative, even though it looks like I have a constellation of indentations in this test, meaning physical impressions, not indent lines. But yeah, this is definitely negative. So it looks like that's it for 12 DPO. So there's still a little bit of time left. We have probably two more days since my cycle is pretty much 28 days like clockwork. I probably have two more days to test and to hopefully see a positive or wind up seeing a F still have my fingers crossed that she does not show. So guys, that is all for this video. You already know the drill. If you like this video, please give us a huge thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe to join our tribe and come along with us on this journey because it has been a journey for sure. <laughs> Make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. Ladies, I'm sending you all types of baby dust. I am sending you so many positive vibes, so much good juju, lots of love, and I hope you guys are still having an amazing and wonderful week. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.